to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. And welcome to Goodwill. Again, we're looking for big scores today. I'm always looking for those. Check out the back. We just walked through the tech stuff. I picked up this, but this really isn't worth it. Seascape, none sold. I kind of like this. I might get this for myself. It's kind of cool. It's a glass crystal. Department 56 was over there, so $2.39. That should be $25. I also found... And I can't find anything on it, but... Teddy Roosevelt? Brand new puzzle? Hmm. I'm gonna do a little more research on that, but let's walk through the toys here. See that wand. Harry Potter. Hmm. I'm to scan that and see. It's worthy. Scanning. Boop. Toys everywhere. Try to move stuff out of the way when I can. Oh, just for price. Remember this one as a kid. Um, hmm. I don't think it has much, too much value. But let me scan it really quick. Yeah, someone has it listed for seven fifty. Like, <laughs> that's a no go. All right, what else we got here? Nothing, nothing. To try to move stuff into the help the situation here. Make sure you know, clear the floors a little bit. Move stuff away. Make it easier for myself and other people as well too. Harry Potter. Candles. No. Let's scan this really quick. Harry Potter by Jax, J-A-K-K-S. Should sell for about 20. Okay, the music got a little bit louder. I'll be under a speaker here, so. Oh, when I say I'm scanning stuff, I'm doing Google Image to give me a quick sense of what the item is, what it could be worth, and I get a good idea from there whether or not I should pick it up if I have no idea. All right, music's kind of loud. Thanks. It's about fifteen dollars, so five bucks to no to no go. But I got my parents. Parents had Kirby for a long time, and and they would um they would drive far to get these things. So let me take a look at this, and I'll pop the camera back on. Stock, and I am selling them. But you have to get them for like a buck. 
They're really not worth it for $5. They'll probably, they sell for around $10. So at $5, there's really no money to be made. They are really easy shippers though. So if you find any of these, get them for a buck. Get them a big old bundle if you can. This right here, Disneyland. I'm pretty sure Disney World too, but they have marathons every so often. And this is a medal that was given out. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to get it no matter what. Because it's Star Wars. And it's... You know, not everybody runs these marathons. And I think there's a cost to run the marathon as well too. So, for five bucks, I'm going to pick that up for myself. Ninja Turtles is for my niece. Um, huge Disney... Uh, huge Ninja Turtle fan. Whenever I find anything cool, I'll snap it up. Definitely a few more things in my cart here. Mm. Okay, that's not worth it. We're not gonna pick that up, it's not worth it. But I definitely some shoes aren't gonna be worth it. These are for the house here, boom, boom, boom. So I found these, I'm still trying to look these up. They look like Alexander McQueen collab with Puma. It's a very small size, so I'm gonna do a little more research on this before I head on out for the day. But let's go see what else we can see in some of these aisles really quick. Nice hookahs. What do we have down here? We got some Nike, some Solomon. Really small bands down there. Those hookahs are nice too. There's a couple of they're gonna be Quite a bit, probably around thirty dollars is what I'd expect here. Hmm. Guys, keep it. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? over here again. <laughs> Let's move on through pretty quickly here. Golf, what is this? Oh, golf monogrammer. No, I did not look at the golf clubs here, but what is this? Golden Bear. No, it's Jack Nicholas, I believe. I always get him confused with the actor, or the name, I should say, get confused with the actor. I feel really there. I've said this before on my channel, but you can actually do pretty well reselling golf clubs. I mean, they're generally around $4 each. And a lot of these I think will probably be, I mean, I don't know, 15 to $20 each. I'm not a golf expert. I look out for the major brands, drivers and putters. Oh, there's a, ooh, actually this might be of interest to me or my son. It's a curl bar. Huh, that's pretty cool for $11. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it would need something to hold on your weights in, but let me see. 
actually also gonna find this actually pretty cool. Always look to shop for yourself as well too here. There's some great items at great prices. These crowbars are actually really expensive. It's not high quality, but it'll do the job. Okay, I'm gonna look around for the, hopefully find other accessories to this and put the stuff back. I'm gonna take a look. I've always found random stuff in this Goodwill in the wood aisle. It just so happens to be incredibly, sell incredibly well and make good money on it. I found a sculpture, a dance ballerina, bronze that's sold overseas for 89 if I remember correctly. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Idaho, was it Idaho? Yeah. Idaho cut board. Look out, look out for jewelry boxes as well too. I mean, I have found them, but good ones. I have far and few between. Looks like a pizza. Plain pizza actually. Pizza sounds good right now. <laughs> Huge pizza fan. Chaboting. It's cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. Looking out for like monkey pod is good. Have to get it a good price because it doesn't really go for that much, but it is well made. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it comes from Hawaii. Monkey pod. Looks very similar to this. But it's a name that, it's a name that does sell. Okay, let's go to another aisle. Okay, let me know, does your Goodwill get Target items? Some of them are better than others. Um, pricing wise though, they'll generally do about half of what it sells for at Target. These are pretty cool. My wife likes these. She already has a few. Two, I think. I think they're all the same style, too. It's a crossbody for your phone. This Goodwill doesn't get that. When it comes to this Target, it's not that great here. There's another Goodwill that gets amazing Target items. They get all the collectible toys. So. That's what we target when we're looking for fresh new target inventory and in good condition too. Big rent, programmable coffee maker. Okay, we'll leave it. But nothing really here and the music's getting kind of loud. Okay. And I'm no exception. I love mugs. I buy mugs all the time for myself, but there's usually not a lot of value. It's going to cost you about shipping wise. It's going to cost your customer around nine dollars or so because it's going to go two pounds. But there are some, but nothing here. Take a stab at it. I think these might be worth it. They are small. Oh, the puzzle. Let me look at that puzzle. Trying to look stuff up. <laughs> this up here. Constantly rolling stuff out all the time, all day at these Goodwills. A popcorn bucket. What else do we see? Some toys. Nothing really, nothing really. What about
at the thrift store today. This is um Cancer Society Discovery Store. I more than likely won't be buying anything here because I never find anything, but it's on my way back home, so I might as well stop in and take a look. Mm -hmm. Really quick. Let's go in. Mm -hmm. Metropolitan Museum of Art. Not Mart. Interesting collector plates. Moses, maybe? Oh, yeah. Moses. Interesting clog. Porcelain. Crazy. Everything got moved around. Green tags for 75% off. That's a blue tag. Everybody, welcome to the end of the video and I hope you guys liked that trip over to the Goodwill we got some decent items and obviously you know that one crystal no not crystal glass that looked like a crystal I, that's a keeper and actually my daughter wanted it so she has that in her room now and the second trip or not second trip the second um, thrift store that's the discovery can discovery cancer society thrift store and it's not one that i typically visit i wanted to show you guys basically there's other thrift stores in my area besides goodwills and flea markets and all that 
but that one there i just don't find any items that are worth reselling let me know what you guys think if you guys saw anything in there please drop a comment down below but i never find anything down there and i don't think i saw anything there that was worth it and sometimes the prices are a little bit higher so that's why i stick to goodwills uh flea markets um occasional garage sales and savers although saver like i've said before it's always hit or miss at savers but um sometimes the stuff i find at savers is pretty good and i get some pretty good profit out of there but we're gonna go over a few items here a few items i found recently so that way you guys can be out there looking for these items and um resell them you know and you know my re these are all items that i have six i've had success with Maybe not the exact brand name, but I've had success with uh, similar items that that are, you know, like silverware. I, I sell silverware all the time, silverware all the time. <laughs> but here's a brand to look out for is Ikea. Ikea is a brand to look out for. I just picked these up. I listed these. Um, I haven't listed these ones yet because this is going to be just sold as a miscellaneous set. I was able to put together a set of 16 forks, spoons, knives. And I listed that for $60. The rest of this is just miscellaneous spoons and and uh, and forks. Not a really complete set that I can make out of these. But people still buy them. Now the bag I spent $8.59. So we'll make a good profit on the set once that sells. But these little miscellaneous pieces, I'm going to get it up, list them for probably about $17. And that'll pay for the bag. And we'll be in the a little bit into the profit and then hopefully be more into the profit once the set sells ikea silverware very plain very modern looking people love ikea people sell ikea i sell ikea lights all the time and people love ikea silverware it always sells <clears throat> and another set i found in there and it's not this is not really something to look out for it just happened to be in the bag of silverware that i purchased was this Revere, and I believe Revere, like Paul Revere, is associated with Oneida, and Oneida is definitely a name to look out for in silverware, but I, but these dinner knives were a set of five, and these should go for about $15. Dinner knives or butter knives don't really do as well as fork spoons or, that's it, fork spoons. <laughs> salad, I'm thinking, because I'm thinking of salad forks, dinner forks, uh, teaspoons and tablespoons so um the knives don't really do that well so i typically just redonate them because in those bags of silverware you get so much stuff there's a bunch of miscellaneous other brands in there that i'm just going to redonate it's not worth my time to try to resell those uh or try to make sets out of those um, because it's just not worth it. They're worth maybe three, four dollars each piece, and I really don't want to waste shipping supplies on that. Um, I got the sets I wanted. I got the pieces I wanted. I'm going to resell those. We're going to make our money back, be in the profit, and I'll just redonate everything else. So, silverware does incredibly well. I believe I've said that before. Actually, I just sold more silverware yesterday or today, I should say, uh, because I shipped it out today. So, a uh, quick little sip after that i feel like i talked a lot right there <laughs> this is a uh, um uh lefroig and i have it in a bit of a more fancier glass here it's, it's a um it's a uh, glen karen with the stem footed and all that but lefroig is a very uh it's a smoked whiskey it's from it's a scotch so it's from scotland and it's from isla and the the smoke they smoke it with peat and it gives it a very medicinal briny to me a little bit of ocean in there um i don't know I, I, it's one of my favorites i know when i've had people try it that have never tried it before they automatically think rubber tire <laughs> It's an acquired taste, so. Um, but when I'm drinking a Lefroig, I typically like to use one of these little glasses. Or when I'm using, you know, when I when I want to enjoy not just the, you know, the um, the drinking, but also the the aromas and everything, I'll typically put it in one of these, and it'll be a, you know, an all night affair for me to finish something like this. Plus, it's also, you know, if you're 
getting fancy here in the in the whiskey tasting world. You know, you don't want to heat up the whiskey by holding it here. So it gives you an area to hold it here so that way you don't heat your whiskey up with your body temperature. <laughs> so, I'm not a sommelier, but an aficionado, I guess. Okay. Okay, let's get on with the video here. Um, watches. Watches is another big category for me. I sell a lot of watches. I tend to sell a lot of watches right around between $20 to $50. Occasionally, I will sell watches that go up over a hundred, but typically, what I found in my experience is those watches that will resell for over a hundred, when I see them out there, flea markets, Goodwills, they'll be priced up already. So they'll already be in a in a price range where I won't make the profit that I would like on it. And then once you start talking higher end watches like um, Rolex. Um, I came across a watch a little while ago over at Goodwill. I mean, over at um, the flea market. I can never re remember the name of this watch, but it's a very high-end watch. And what was it? it is an automatic watch. It sells for retail like tens of thousands of dollars. Resale value on this watch was about 4000 And... Once you start talking about those watches, you really, really got to worry about fakes. And I can't find it here. Yeah. So I was able to test it out. I was able to, you know, check everything out. Everything looked great on the watch. They wanted $700 for it. The problem is also when you're talking about those watches, those high-end watches and fakes, everything could look great on the outside and... But then you take it, let's say you take it to a dealer just to get, you know, get their seal of approval. They open it up and the inside could not be right. So you got to be really careful. And that's why I don't even, I'll look at them and, but I won't really, I really won't buy them because those watches can even trick the, you know, the people that, that are kind of, that have some advanced knowledge in these watches as well too. And you won't really know that until you open up, crack open the watch. And at the flea market, they want their money up front. They're not gonna let you take it and then get it tested. And I can't bring a kit, like my little Amazon kit. I can't bring that over there because these watches are not, I'm not gonna be able to open the watch with my Amazon kit. So uh, be careful when you're buying or reselling watches. I sell a lot of Swatch watches. I find them all the time for like a buck or two. And they resell for about 20 30 for The last Swatch I think I sold for $50. So, And nobody fakes Swatches. But I picked up this Seiko at the Goodwill. I checked everything out. It looked great. This is a battery-operated watch, although Seiko is a higher-end name in the watch business. And for some reason, everyone knows, every time I try to buy Seiko, like at the flea markets, everyone knows what Seiko is. And so they automatically charge, you know, what I, what I can't pay. So, for 20 bucks though, this is about a $200 watch here. And it is a quartz or battery-operated watch. Uh, but this is like automatic watches. It does have jewels, synthetic jewels on the inside to help, you know, it's with its longevity. And it is tested and working. I was able to put a new battery in it and it works great. Now, let me just show you the inside of this watch and the, as far as what the jewels are, what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I believe I mentioned that in another watch that I resold recently. It was a West Germany automatic watch, 25 jewel. But this one here, so this is the inside. I was able to open it. And here's the picture I took. So if you see, that's where the battery goes. And if you see these little pink dots here, those are the jewels or the synthetic um, sapphires, I believe, is what they, what they should be. So synthetic sapphires are typically just little washers and, you know, they'll last a very long time. I mean, everything degrades over time, but they'll last a lot longer than other material. So that watch, 20 bucks, and it should resell for about $200. Again, probably a little bit less. It does have quite a bit of um, surface wear and everything to it, but it, 
I mean, the back is... Looks like somebody just didn't know what they're doing, and they really were trying to get it open and scratched up the back of that. So there's the back of it there with all the numbers. So yeah, but still a great watch though. Still a great watch. A good retro 80s, 90s, probably more 80s type of watch. Another thing to look out for is shaving supplies. Not really exciting, but. I do find it from time to time. $4.59 is what we paid for this bag. And each of these should sell for 20 bucks. Keep your eye out. Make sure it's brand new. Don't want to sell used shaving supplies. So, <laughs> there it is. Uh, you could probably sell the, like, uh, electronic razors and stuff, obviously, without the blades because it'd probably be full of hair and could potentially nick somebody and then, you know, you, you got blood on it probably, so... Yeah, brand new can't go wrong with brand new brand new anything so you got a brand new i got a lego set now this is a lego set i paid way too much for let me just uh that there this is a, a set i paid way too much for and i would not recommend you paying this much for this set this is the lego marvel the hulkbuster set and I remember when they first came out with the Hulkbuster set. I forgot what that original number was, but um, when was that? Was when the um, second or third Avengers, the Avengers with uh, Ultron in it came out? They released the Hulkbuster set, and that set, if I remember correctly, was forty dollars in stores. But when it first came out, it was reselling for double that. So I was able to pick up some in my local Walmart and I was able to resell several of them for a you know, decent profit. Not crazy, but decent profit. And then eventually, you know, it, it, resale, retail stores got more supply in and obviously the resale value went down. Now this one here isn't that great of a set. It's a recent one. It's I think it's it might still be out for sale. This is a re, um, from Avengers... Uh, Infinity Gauntlet Part 1 with Bruce Banner when Bruce Banner was operating it operating the Hulkbuster but this isn't a really great set in my opinion um, as far as the minifigures go nothing really that we haven't seen before or characters that aren't in any other sets Bruce Banner is not really you know I, the the heroes aren't really that great. I mean, the prints on the um, on the uh, bad guys are pretty cool, but there's a bunch of sets with these in there. They're not really going to be anything of value. If I keep this brand new, it might hold some value in the future because it is the Hulkbuster set. But I don't think so. I don't think this is a really good set to pick up. I mean, if you're going to buy for... The most I would pay for something like this is about $5. It'll resell for about $25, maybe $30. But if you see this out there with $24.99, do not buy it. I bought it because I'm a Lego guy. I can't, like I said, I can't help myself when it's Legos. And if it's somewhat reasonable, I will pick it up. And it's been a while. I don't even know where my original Hulkbuster is. It's somewhere in my collection. I opened that up and... My the one the first one I purchased I opened it up put it together, of course and it's somewhere I gotta find it. <laughs> uh, but this is kind of it's cool. I mean I like the Hulkbuster set. It's Marvel. It's cool. All right. Okay. Another thing. thing you should be on the lookout for. It does. It's, these aren't really crazy sellers, but um, photo books, picture frames. They I still sell them and they do okay if you get the right brands. And you obviously pay the right price. Can't pay too, too much for them. Because they'll probably mostly go for around $20. This one here should be up about $50 to $60 maybe. Because it is in brand new condition. Some of the used ones sell for about $40. Bucks, but this brand is all in leather. So, not all, not... I mean, just because it's leather doesn't mean it's, uh, you know, a... Um, going to be worth it but this brand name does really well so look out for this it's really nice woven leather woven leather book photo book so look out for it not try to pronounce it but <laughs> uh, i'm not going to try and butcher the name right well 
No, I'm not going to try it. But handcrafted in the USA, in USA. If something is made in the USA, definitely put that in the title. That will help the item. People do look for made in the USA and associate that with more quality items. But that'll be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the trip. Is there anything I missed at Goodwill? at that other thrift store. Is there anything that I missed I should be picking up, I should be looking at, I should be trying to resell? By the way, that's what we paid for that. $6.39. 39 cents is what we paid for that. Let me know what you guys think of these items, about these bolo items, I guess. Items you should be on the lookout for. Have you resold any of these? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, but, I hope you guys are having great sales out there. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys are here for entertainment, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, at least the first. I mean, if you guys find this this part entertaining, this is probably more geared towards resellers. But um, if you're here for just the shopping, I hope you guys enjoy the shopping section. Uh, if you guys are here for information, help, things to look out for, I hope I guys I hope I helped you out with that. But I appreciate all new subscribers. Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, thumbs down the video and subscribe if you guys want to continue to see content from me hit the bell notification if you do want to get notified when i drop new videos which is every monday wednesday friday usually around midday i hope <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next one